Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Christmas is getting ever closer. We are in the full swing of the preparations of getting Christmas ready, you could say. But you know what? Something which sprung to mind over the last couple of days as I've been doing my motivation clips, I've really started to uh, love um I, I love helping people anyway, um, but I've had so many great comments lately, and not just on the channel, but about people who have really complimented me on my hard work lately, and on how I've handled a situation, whether it be at work, and I've just had some really lovely feel-good moments, and I'm really just trying to spread the good cheer and, and goodwill, of course, and really just to, if somebody has done something great, just to call them out and just to say, do you know what, really well done you, it may well be Christmas, but let's, let's try and carry this on all year through. And then I've been uh, on online, I get, uh, I get quite a few questions and quite a few queries. And sometimes a lot of people, bless them, share some really quite awful things with me and, and, and how they've got through it, the strength it's taken them. Uh, my, my heart goes out to them, it really, really does. And even just when you turn your TV on nowadays, the horrific things you hear in this world, even though it's Christmas, of course, still bad things go on in our world today. Now, there are certain things in this life which I always leave up to the grace of God. If it, and faith is a lot to me, it really, really is. Now, if you're not of faith, then there's a lot of, there's a lot of greatness you can take out of that. There really, really is. Um, if you haven't got faith, well, have faith in yourself, my friend, because there is only one of you. And if you're not of faith, then please bear with me on this. So I've been really trying to sort of home in on trying to sort of build people up in in sense of helping them with motivation, helping them kind of feel good. So when I've been going into work, I've been making sure in my head that I've been consciously recognizing good work and kind of uh, good ethics. And if somebody's done me a good turn, then I've, I've really tried to do the same in return. But I've been reading things, a couple of things lately, a couple of things have come to my mind in, in work and I have one or two people sort of beating themselves up and about one thing or another which has happened in the year. And as I say, anything major in this life, and, and a lot of people question me on, in, in faith and to say, well, what happens if someone's murdered? What happens with this and if you can be forgiven? Well, in my heart, friend, what I do is I leave that up to the grace of God. It's not for me to question at all. We live in a fallen world. There's a lot of horrific things happen, but I want to concentrate on the people around me, me, my relationship with God, my family, the people who I come into contact with and all the love he pours into me. And I'm going to just try and pull that into my life and the people who I meet. So I'm talking to you about the day-to-day -day things and people who perhaps have made a mistake. They've made a genuine mistake. And we're not just saying whether it be work, it could be financial. It could be, let's say, between a friendship, it could be a relationship, a mistake. Perhaps you've said the wrong thing. Perhaps you've you've shouted at a parent when you didn't mean to. It could have been a grandparent. Perhaps you've done the same to an uncle or an aunt and you're feeling bad and rotten. Or perhaps your relationship's broken down a little bit and you're coming up to Christmas and you're thinking... I wish that that never happened. I wish I had my bond. I've lost friends and things in terms of fr relationships, uh, friendships. And, um, and I've, I've really kind of wished almost that perhaps I shouldn't have ended it that way. Perhaps I, perhaps I should have stayed in touch. And, and now I'm thinking, hmm, if only. And then earlier on in the year, I did reach out and on my behalf, I tried to make those friendships, those bonds, um, uh, how I would feel comfortable with them. And do you know what? Sometimes in life it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it's about doing the right thing. And especially at Christmas time, let's all do the right thing. We live in such a, a nasty world nowadays. We really, really do. But what I want to say to you is that you're forgiven. Now, so many times I, I hear people and I hear them, I wish I could have done this and I wish I could have done that or pestering over, say, uh, a situation what's happened and they've argued with somebody. I've heard that a couple of times lately in the past couple of weeks and months going back. I done the wrong thing only just the other week where I approached a situation, a person who had lost their mother. Complete, if I'd have had my time over again, I just literally jumped in like an elephant and the lady burst into tears. And I know that was a genuine mistake, but just knowing how I handle things, I really questioned myself. Do you know what, Bradley? Why on earth did you do that? And if I think back on it, the day before was a really, really bad day in relation to work. It was really pressured. I'd had an evening where I felt quite unwell and I was feeling a little bit dicey in the morning at work as well. And then I seen this person, I almost just threw that comment on and it was just, I expressed my sympathy and my condolences, but it was 
how I'd done it. And I always think that there is a way of saying something, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, there is a certain way of saying something and expressing that. So there's my little hiccup there. And I'm no saint. I'm really not. I'm one of four brothers. Um, so I've got three brothers. I'm one of us. There's four of us. Um, my dear Nan, I always remember little quarrels with her. And we always used to give her a hug in the end and we'd sort it out fine. And the same with my mum. I almost, I always sort of come come right around to my my dad and I apologise and I say, do you know what, I'm really really sorry I said that in that certain way and my dad as well, and brothers, my brothers not so much. I let them them start it first of all. Um, but you know what, we all do things, we all make mistakes, we all say the wrong thing, and you know what, if there's a little bit more than that, we all make mistakes. We're not perfect. We're not saints, but we are the creation of Him up above, and that's what I hold on to. And he loves us so much, and he forgives us. And a lot of people in the past have questioned me, and they have said, how on earth is there a God when there is so much hatred and there's so much horribleness in the world we live in? And my simple response is that even God knew pain, even God knew heartbreak and horrid. He gave his only son for you and me. He loved us and he loved this world that much. And then when I go through the conversation a bit more and you say about Jesus, and I say, well, he loved us that much. Look what he done. He resolved our past, present and future sins. He wore all of our scar he wore all of our sins and all of those scars on his body, all what he went through. And here's here's the key to what I say to you. He loved us that much and loves us that much. Okay. And I love this phrase. There's nothing God can't do because he works through you. So there's nothing in this world you can't do. So stop beating yourself up this festive season, because when Jesus went through all of what he did on that cross and wore all those scars of our sins, it was of our past, our present and our future sins. So stop beating yourself up anymore. And all he asks is to love yourself, love him, love others. And let's take care of this world. And let's not add to this fallen world. Let's love it. And let's just take all the love which the Lord and Jesus pours into us and keep on pouring it. God bless. And on this Christmas season, don't be so hard on yourself. Take great care. And if that doesn't relate to you and you're not of faith, then my friend, have faith in yourself because there's only one of you and you are amazing in this world. God bless. Take great care. Have a very, very happy festive season. We're nearly coming up closer to it this Christmas. And as I say, I hope you can join me before then. But thanks very much for joining me. And until then, take great care and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.